Right, so this is going to be a it's just a quick and dirty video on if you have a surveillance system this is a Samsung I'll have to look at what the model number is and it shows no HDD installed there is one installed but for some reason it's not seeing it or recognizing it anymore so this will be uh, how to replace it with a uh, like Serial number on this is a Samsung SDE 4001N. Now this is the 8 uh, eight channel, I guess it is. So you can put up to 8 uh, cameras on there. We do have 8 cameras on there. I am basically going to uh, not disconnect it. It has power. This one is main power. And this one is power for the uh, cameras and everything. So we're going to shut it off, disconnect these. There are, um, you have to excuse the mess, I just kind of yanked this out so there's wires every place. There's two screws on the side, on each side. There's two screws on this side, two screws on this side, and then there's three screws in the back. One on the middle of the back there, up top, here there's one, and over here there's one on the edge. Once you get those three out, you just slide the lid back, and it will uh, pop out. Slide back, and then it comes right up. Hang on, I'm going to put the camera on a uh, tripod, hopefully the tripod doesn't fall over, and see if we can get this uh, replaced. We'll see, I think that gets it so you can see stuff. So, um, seven screws, pull the cover off, and again, excuse the mess, I understand it's a mess. Let's see if I can get a flashlight to get some better light over here. Sorry, I'm walking away and talking. So, hard drive's here. Like I said, there's the two powers. Uh, is your SAT cord or SATA cord. Uh, one of them's for your power. The little one's for your power. And this is all your information. So, hopefully, this is uh, what my issue is. I guess you can't see if I'm got that thing shine like that. See if I can zoom it out and get a more of a thing. So, um... As you can see, so shut it off and we'll pull the power and uh, replace the hard drive. It's two screws and it should come right out. Hang on. So the um, there's two screws that hold this tray. You can see there's a tray here that the hard drive sits in. Two screws hold it down to the frame, pulled it out. There's uh, four screws, two on each side. And this is the new hard drive. It's, you know, five minutes worth of work. Now the trick will be is making sure you don't screw this up when you plug it back in. It's um, really small little connectors. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of light over here. There it is. Felt good. Lay it back down in place here. So it... Uh, it hooks in, there's little there's little tabs that hook into these holes. So you want to make sure you, you pull it towards the front, get it to drop down and slide it back over, put your two screws back in, and we'll put power to it and um, see if it works. All right, so it's all in. Got my power hooked back up, and we are firing it up and seeing what happens. It will automatically boot itself up uh, and start searching the hard drive. If uh, this has not cured my zero hard drive problem, then um, the only other thing it could be is I saw online that says it, it could be the power supply not giving it enough juice. So let's see. Um, we're in the middle of a boot. Let's see. So it's booting up. It's running through its BIOS. You know, it's going to check check everything as it runs through. You'll see it kind of go through the little process. And hopefully when it comes up, it does not give me that error. Now it was, um, it was coming up and then running for about five minutes and then throwing the error up. We will see. Um, I think there's a way you can format the hard drive. So if I do have some issues, I'll try formatting it. But um, honestly, it's a, probably less than 10 minute job. 
If you take it in to a uh, repair guy, he's going to charge $200. The hard drive itself, being a one terabyte, was $54, you know, from Amazon, delivered, got here in two days. I ordered it on Monday, it's here on Wednesday. And then um, the only other issue would be the, like I said, the power supplies. But I'm hoping that this takes care of our problem. This system was installed in the house when we bought it. Uh, so we are, have zero invested, but you know, the Samsung's, I don't think it's a cheap, uh, a real cheap, uh, thing. So they spent some money to put it up. So we will see as it's, again, it's, it's, I see it has thrown up some lights down below. It's looking at the hard drive. Hopefully it makes it. I'll get back to you and let you know. Okay. It seems to be stuck here. On the boot, on the screen, or on the front of it, I have uh, the hard drive light is lit up, the power light is lit up. I think when that hard drive light is lit up, it means it has a hard drive issue. Um, you know, we're kind of stuck in the same spot. I'm going to um, see if I can get it to a hard read boot, and we'll go from there. All right, so it took quite a while, actually. I was getting worried. Um, took probably seven or eight minutes for the thing to boot up where normally it takes you know maybe a minute at the most but it came up as you can see by the r's it's recording it has the locked record symbol meaning that not you know somebody can't just jump on and uh and replace it so at this point it seems to be working uh like i said it's a 10 minute job at the most uh, I, like I said, I didn't unplug all my cameras. Just left all that plugged in. I uh, I went ahead and just unplugged the power, swapped it out. Fifty five dollars in a couple of days waiting. Uh, it seems to be working at this point. I'll uh, if it uh, if it fails again, like I said, sometimes it lasts about five minutes and then throw up the no HDD. So only time will tell at this point. Thanks for watching. One more thing, make sure you put the cover back on while you have it apart. If you get one of the compressed air cans, blow out all the dust, clean it up since you're there. You probably won't have to go back in for another four years. Um, our house is real dusty because we've got a wood burning stove here. So um, I think that's it. Uh, seven screws getting the cover off. Another six screws getting the hard drive out and replaced. That's it. Again, thanks for watching, watching and washing. Yeah, nobody wants to smell somebody who doesn't wash. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Please comment if you see something I did funky or you have a better idea on how to make it work. You know, leave a comment. Thanks again.